In 2001, director Simon West and Paramount Studios teamed up with Angelina Jolie to bring the character of Lara Croft to the silver screen for the Hollywood masses and gamers alike. Or so they'd like you to think. Around this time, the Tomb Raider games were going crazy with releases, having just finished Tomb Raider Chronicles in 2000 and with development beginning on the last revelation with another studio. Unfortunately, sales were beginning to turn as the games began to date themselves and, for better or for worse, started turning into yearly installments. This didn't mean that Lara Croft was going anywhere, anytime soon, fast. Not at all. Production began as early as 1998, as drafts and rewrites plagued the film from the beginning, leading to a ton of delays. One of the early screenwriters was Stephen E. D'Souza, who is better known for contributing to such classics as Die Hard, Commando, and the extremely well-received Street Fighter. Luckily for us, his draft was rejected by Paramount. Speaking of which, distribution and financing of the film was internationally produced between the United States, the United Kingdom, Japan, and Germany. And as far as tax deductions and investing groups went, well, this movie went through as many hands and copyright deals as all hell, and made tens of millions back from its estimated $115 million budget. This film went the literal distance to make as much money as possible. And did it succeed? Well, in its opening weekend of June of 2001, it made roughly $47 million, which, well, isn't too bad in those 2001 times, especially when it would go on to eventually make $274 million worldwide. And at the time, that's pretty damn impressive for a mindless action flick based off of a video game starring the voluptuous Angelina Jolie and a pre- 007 Daniel Craig? Huh. Interestingly enough, the early Tomb Raider games were somewhat influenced from the earlier James Bond line of films, not to mention Indiana Jones, but you know, we'll get there soon enough. Probably. What episode are we on? Speaking of which, in preparation for the sub three minute intro for a video that was too short and I decided we could talk about the movie for a minute, I ended up watching it to get a feel of what it was like, considering I had actually never seen it. And to be honest, it wasn't that terrible. There's some pretty weird fan servicey moments, not even five minutes into the movie, but the action and set pieces, as clumsy as some of them are, were kind of enjoyable. I almost elected to do a feature length review on it, but Tomb Raider 2013 is something I'd like to prioritize first. But believe me, there would be plenty of things to talk about and rip into regarding the original Tomb Raider movie, including a 10 minute fight sequence with Lara in her pajamas and using a motorcycle to hit dudes in the face. <laughs> nah, that was awesome. But the Illuminati? An extremely questionable CGI stone henchman? Yeah, maybe we would need to look at this movie a little further in depth, but let's move on to something completely different. Ladies and gentlemen, from inside the small and honestly quite the underwhelming cave that is nowhere near the brilliance and other importance than the one that we started with in the last part, my name is Allison Cruz and Lara Croft would love to welcome you back to more Tomb Raider. We just murdered a couple of people here with some arrows to the face and we are going to continue exploring the mountain village. That is the longest amount of smoke that I've ever seen come from one of those in my life. And that's not really that big of an achievement. I don't think I've ever seen one of those in real life, so you know how it goes. So we ended up playing with our rope a little bit, and um, I love it. I might accidentally call it Rope Snake here every once in a while, because I already have almost said it like that every time I've wanted to say Rope Arrow. So stuff down there, just a ton of exploration. But the thing of the matter is that so much of this is just, is just death down there. If you're not careful, you'll fall to your untimely demise. Um, it's telling us that there's, ooh, a secret tomb. I forgot about that. Um, let's take a look. I don't think I've ever actually finished this one. <gasps> no, this is the one that I feel is synonymous with this game. And you'll see exactly what I mean by that soon. So, let's go ahead over here and go through very quietly, very slowly. So, since the last part, I've neglected to, uh, fix up my contact in my right eye so that's twitchy cats are still running around in that briefcase that they absolutely love and um life is gonna be <laughs> all fine and dandy isn't it okay 
So you'll notice there's a lot of wind. A very heavy gale, as it were. And that is going to be a big proponent of what's to be coming here in the next couple of parts. It's wind. Don't you guys love it? Can you not? There we go. I was stuck for a minute. <laughs> yeah, let's go and touch that, shall we, Laura? <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, I think there was just the one collectible there. Alright. Um, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Hall of Ascension. Ooh. It's good. I like it. Let's climb on up here and uh, rest our weary, winded bones here at our campfire. I don't think there's anything we can do, but I'll just take it. Because why not? And let's go ahead inside, shall we? This is going to be a joy. Let's go. So we have a bit of a puzzle here. We have a giant contraption that we can go ahead and get going over here. We bring it up into the gale. And it'll just go flying off to the corner there. Also a golden horse. And then we've also got some of this nonsense going on here. We go over here. And we gotta close the shutters. It's breaking the game's audio, man. And there we go. No more heavy winds. But it does cause this to fall down. And let me just tell you, this entire puzzle is timing based. Which means I'm gonna get it wrong. However, you'll notice that the bottom layer is going. But the second one has yet to come. Until... Any day now. There's the second and third. So you guys kind of see what we need to do now? It's great, isn't it? So this is what's going to happen. We're going to go and close this. And I doubt I'm going to be able to get this. Ugh. Nice. Okay. And now we can go and raise this. But we need to do it on such a, on such a level. That by the time we get up there. Oh boy. Am I going to make it? Okay, now let's wait for those to go open. Please hurry, please, please. Oh my God, oh. and there we go. <laughs> That's literally all there was to it. We made it up to this <laughs> crumbling infrastructure. Everything is fine, don't worry about it. Okay, so that is pretty easy. We did it, that's, that's literally all there was to this tomb. Of a larger complex of ruins. Indeed. I do gotta say, like, walking into these is awesome. I mean, that would be so gratifying and so incredible to see just, you know, stumbling upon this and then going through and looting it. That would be the most, the most egregious part of it all, but it's, it's why they do it. So, let's grab our treasure and get the hell out of here. I will just take this one doubloon and we will have raided the tomb. Which means we now have a skill point and a hand. Uh, excuse me? A handgun part in there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, game. Whatever you say. Okay. I don't know that there's any real way to get out of here scot free, so let's leave. I refuse to pay taxes, damn it. And life is good. Um, before we move on too much. Let's go and take this, shall we? Alright, our first skill point takes us to something that we wanted to do before. Not all of the things we wanted there. Got the accomplished killer. Probably more ammo, I would say. Or... Arrows. Extra ammunition. Oh, right here. Climber's agility. I can't believe... Did I skip over this? Because this is definitely something we want, so we'll take it. Climber's agility. Definitely wanted that. And last but not least, let's take a look at our gear. Um, we can probably upgrade something. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to wait a little bit. I'm short by nine, so awesome. Um, I'm not really a fan of hair trigger modifications. I'm going to wait. Uh, that's going to sound weird, but there's not really anything that I want to upgrade. And there's a weapon we'll be getting soon that I'm going to want. Now... It's time for a new outfit, and I think we should go with the demo gear featuring an engineering jump shoot and belt pack. 
because we've been the sure shot for a little bit too long. I kind of forgot that we could change, but we're good. Check it out. I'm ready to brave these winds, and I also look goddamn beautiful. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's get out of here. I know I could fast travel to another place, but you just have to exit, you know? You just gotta leave the way you came. It's just, I don't know, part of the tradition of raiding a tomb is getting in through the dark, just confined area, the place that gives you extreme anxiety and claustrophobia, and then going back through the way you came. It's just, it's gotta be part of the cycle, that's all. <laughs> Cool. Okay, so we have reward locations, which I believe just come in the form of the GPS thing. So, oh boy, five experience points every time I find one of those. Beautiful. It's okay. We'll get orienteering soon enough. That might actually be my next point that I'm going to send into my business. Um, all right, let's actually get through this. I completely forgot that that tomb was there, so that actually might set us back a minute. Okay, was there something here? Yes, there was. Thank you. There's also this over there. Can I even reach it? No, because I have to be there. Damn. Well, cats, cats everywhere. Will this work? No, it won't. Well, there's something there that we can collect. I can probably make that jump. Should we, should we give it a shot? Shall we try? The blue smoke is just over there. It would be easy enough to come back. I can also jump over here. I think this is what they want me to do, actually. Let's do it. Ooh. Nice. Well done. Stuck the landing there, Lara. And Pixel's darting to the other room. Oh, hello. I will go and light you up as a courtesy call, I guess. And there's this. Wait. Can I reach that? They're really not going to let me make it up there? Because I'd love to be able to do that. Hmm. Well, let's try this. This doesn't work like that. However can do this. Oh, ho. and there's like a an egg. You will give me an egg right over there. I don't think I can reach it though. That looks a little, a little hairy. We'll avoid that for now. And yeah, like I said before, I hear music. That was very intense for a second. <laughs> it is time for me to leave this accursed island. I have seen enough of Yamatai. I cannot explain the power the Sun Queen wields, but it is not of this earthly plane. All right, good to know, Ambassador. Discovered some terrible secret, I say? Or you say? I find what became of him. We'll discover that soon enough. Okay, so thank you for lighting that back up yourself. Um, so let's see. Where can we go? Where should we go? I'm sure a lot of people want me to head towards the source of the smoke since it's right there. But I'm curious. I want to get up there. I wonder. No, I said thank you. Will that actually let me? It will. Nice. Alright. Sometimes you just don't expect that to work out <laughs> as well as it did there. Um, some ammo, some other things. Beautiful. I'm just going to go and destroy priceless vases. And we'll be good. Yeah, that was a little underwhelming. Excuse me? Something going on over there? Something's being broken. Anyways, let's go rescue this person, shall we? We're behind schedule and ooh, I want to go over there. Later, later, Ellison. The people don't need to see it. Yeah, we do. Here we go. The winds are getting stronger, man. Where did he go? Should we try to find out? Or should we save it for next time? Actually, this might be the perfect stopping point. But we'll go a little bit farther. Just in case. <gasps> is this what I think it is? 
Okay, so we're back at the mountain pass. Oh, you don't need to be lit up. Okay, hey, Lara. Roth told us about the plane. Don't worry, there's got to be another way off this rock, right? I hope so. Any sign of Sam? Yeah, we tracked her to some old Japanese palace. I don't like the sound of that. Hey, don't worry. She's probably just uh, sightseeing. You're a terrible liar, Alex. You have to be careful in there. Good luck. Good luck indeed. Ah, uh, this looks foreboding. This, this does not look good. The Arid Canyon. Well, we've got one of these. This might be as good as we're gonna get, so, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Next time on Tomb Raider, we're actually probably gonna get a new weapon. I'm really excited for that, and I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I'm trying to just keep my wits about me, but as this lovely fire has been set here and burning for Lara, she doesn't think twice about the fact that someone might be returning here soon. Apparently in this universe, fire just is an infinite source of fuel and it's self-sustaining, but I appreciate you guys for sticking around for as long as we've been going so far. It's been really fun. Hope it's been coming through, but next time we continue the story. All right. My name is Allison Cruz and hope to see you guys then.